Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of how to paint Mortis engine. In this video I'm going to focus on the Banshee Swarm. Here is the list of colors that I'm going to be using for the Banshees. All the three Banshees are assembled and primed with Celestial Grey. The first color I'm going to use is Mechanicus Standard Grey and I start base painting the hair on the top all the way however from close towards the ethereal spirit form I am fainting it out The next color is Rhinox Hide and with this color I base paint the corset Now I'm going to use Iron Rack Skin and I start base painting the skin. With Lead Belcher I base paint the daggers Now that I have everything base painted I'm going to use Reichland Flash Shade and I start giving a wash onto the skin. And with Noon Oil I give it a wash onto the daggers, the corset and the hair. Once the washes are completely dry, now I'm going to make a mix of Nihilic Oxide and Lamium Medium, a 1 to 4 part ratio, and just start adding onto the hair, the corset, the skin, making a full cover onto the painted areas. And then following it with nylon like oxide only. And with this one, I start painting and covering the skirt and also blending the back of the hair and cover also the spirit form. Once it is completely dry, I'm going to use Ulthu and Grey and with a small dry brush, I start dry brushing the whole 
surface of the model. Once I'm getting close to the spiritual wave, I give it a harder dry brush. I want to make it more brighter. Now I'm going to use another mix of Collier Green Shade and Lamia Medium. I want the free part ratio. And giving it a wash to the miniature so that all this previously painted northern grey is going to be blended nicely with the nylac oxide. And finishing the Banshees with Tessera Glow. First I dry fit the models to check how they are positioned. Once I know where the Dark Reliquary glows on the Banshees, I'm applying a touch of paint just to make sure that the light is also visually glowing on them. The only thing left is to glue it onto the palanquin. I want it to make look like my Banshees are the same as the Tomb Banshee, which I will leave the link down in the description. In my eyes they look more spiritual, therefore I chose this scheme, which can be used in many more different spirit forms if you want to paint some ghosts in a different way. I hope you find this video useful, if so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and also hit the bell button if you want to be notified about future video contents. See you all in final part. Until next time. Cheers.